Hey Kiki here and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well and have a lovely day. And today we're going to carry on playing Baldur's Gate 3. So in the last episode we only just started exploring the outer borders of Baldur's Gate. We haven't actually gotten inside yet. So we're just going to carry on doing that this episode. Isn't that like guys? Let's get into it. So I forgot to mention earlier that these this kid that ran away from me <laughs> is in my camp and I completely forgot to talk to her. And she has a cat. So should I just speak to animals let me just see what it says i'm just a cat P -p please talk to yenna stop i'm not gonna hurt you kitty i d d don't like talking oh is yenna mistreating you yenna is my best friend she's kind oh help her not me Um, do you know what happened to Yenna's mother? Oh yeah, because like, I think her mother got sick or something and I didn't realise she would end up in my camp, so I'm kind of happy that she did. N nothing good, I don't think. She was so very sick. Then maybe she made like cats and went off to, to spend a last life. Oh my god. I know it's not going to let me pet him, so I'm just going to leave him. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Oh. Could we maybe stay here? Of oh. course. If the child's desperate enough to seek safety in our company, who are we to turn her away? Oh, everyone's here. Okay. <laughs> oh, of course you can stay, Yenna. Pick a spot and settle in. Yes! I've got a fire and everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you, thank you. Oh, stop. Where's she gone? <laughs> uh, Lazelle's down there. Oh, she's over here. Oh, okay. Oh, she's set up with me. That's fine, that's fine. That is... All good. Hey, Halson. For a while, after the shadow curse was lifted, I felt hope in a way that I hadn't felt in years. I thought that nature would heal and balance between it and civilization could be restored once and for all. Yet since we neared the city, I've seen more and more signs that I was being naive. Refugees, orphans, the downtrodden, all being left behind. If such sorrows are the fruits of civilization, perhaps there can be no true balance between it and nature. Yeah, it's not really good. Um, yeah, see, I'm kind of with him. Like, it just doesn't seem like anything's getting better. And obviously not because Lord Gortash is ruining everything. But we literally just in the um, Shadow Curse land and everything was doom and gloom. So we thought maybe when we get to the city, it'll be a little bit better. But no, it's just like destruction after ruin after destruction. It's just constant like chaos. So I understand what he's saying. But like... To be fair, it is a temporary crisis as well because we are trying to sort it out. So I'll say things aren't that bad. It's temporary crisis. Temporary crises have a habit of becoming part of the everyday. Given We're not going to let chance. it, Halson. A rot is taking hold here. That poor girl, Yenna. This city will devour her as sure as any wild predator would do. We're not letting it happen. Be it through malice or just neglect. Her fate will be sealed by this place. Society should be judged based on how they treat their most vulnerable. <laughs> Baldur's Gate may deserve harsh judgment from what I've seen so far. What do you think could be done to help? I wish I knew. Truly. A problem for another day, perhaps. I just hope there is another day. Well, it isn't one forgotten. At least we took Yenna in off the streets. Exactly. But there are many more out there. And we'll help them too. We will help all of them, Halson. Like, don't Just even worry, my love. Whoa, what's happened here? What is going on? Oh, an egg. I'll take that. 
Hey guys. Stay in this car. Back off. I found these apples first. Whoa. <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. It's just so sad because they're literally basically all just starving to death. Look at that. Oh. oh, I haven't gone down here. Or have I? Oh, wait. What's over there? How do I get over there? Through here, I'm guessing? I haven't been this way. I'm just exploring the rest of the map that I haven't done yet. Ooh, hello. Let's dig you up. Gur camp. No, oh, let's take all of that. Oh, uh, there were not people here a second ago. Hi, guys. What's going on? Oh, it's saving. Oh no, I don't like. Emotion cloud our judgment, and it's almost demons. Strategy. She kind of looks like she's in charge. So let's talk to her. Richtei Hathran Rus. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Blast. He clearly walked into some kind of ceremony. Oh, nothing that you recognize. My religion you is do triggering. the language, however. These people are Gur, a tribe of monster hunters, just like the one you met in the Hag Swamp. Im Orak, Nete, Krasin, Netra. Oh, a star in Paris shouldn't be here. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. Ooh. We have been looking for you. What do you want with a star in? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. Oh. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. He's not who he used to be. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. <laughs> oh. It's a long story, honestly. What business is it of yours? For those your friends stole from us, it is a matter of life and death. Mm. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. Mm. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Casador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. Damn. I want to say, how can you be sure? I'm curious, like, has he witnessed them die? Like, seeing proof, you know, is, is everything. I spent 200 years bringing him victims. That's a lot of victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. Yeah. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. Exactly. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. Mm. I don't like that she keeps calling him Spawn. If a star went help you, then I will. You owe them revenge, Stein. If nothing else, you owe them that. To be fair, he does. I know he was a victim himself, but he didn't prevent... He didn't stop, you know. He, like, also 
brought thousands of victims to Casador, so he does owe them this much. I suppose. Yes. Yes. Revenge. I can do. <laughs> he likes Thank revenge. You. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have oh. lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Yeah. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Okay. The thing is, at the same time, it wasn't it wasn't in his control. Like he couldn't literally just. Do not oh. stand here and wait. Casador must be destroyed. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, it wasn't like his fault. He couldn't actually just do it himself. Like he literally was under the control. Like he had no free will. Not for communal use, it seems. Best show some respect. All right, or fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll walk away. I just wanted to know what's down here. I'm just looking up here, and I just saw a ch children's drawing. Wish I had a bag of holding. Oh, I, I, I wanted to see what it was. Oh, stop! Look at it. That's so sad. I mean, I guess I'll keep it. Why not? Household prayer. Nothing. A thunder to light, saloon to guide. I can. Oh my god, this type is hurt my eyes. Calamvor to judge and passage to passage provide. Oh wait, let me see what Starin has to say. Is there something you want to talk about, my dear? Well, I thought you would want to talk about. I thought you would want to talk about the the conversation we just had with them, but no, that's fine. I honestly can't get over the music in this place. It just, every single time, it just gets me right in the feels. Oh, what's up here? I haven't been in here. Oh, it's locked. I need a star in. Oh, this, oh, it's shaking again. I wanted to see that cat, but it disappeared. Whoa, what was that yell? I heard a yell. I just heard someone yell. That was really weird. Okay. Let's go inside. I definitely heard someone. Okay, let's go down here, I guess. Oh! 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 Okay! Uh huh. Oh! Final warning! This is notice dam um, demanding that the miller pay off his debt, le lest his um, creators out him and claim the mill for themselves. Oh, this is stopped out there. Stop. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just gonna, you know, speak to the elephant in the room. A bloody mind flare. Before you lies the unconscious body of a mind flare, glistening and raw. A newborn, unattended. How fortunate. Why is that fortunate? Uh. Okay. It doesn't feel very fortunate. Oh, but it is. This one has only just transformed. It is weak, vulnerable, its potential ripe for harvesting. Go on, kill it, absorb its power, just like you did before. Ah, uh, beautiful guardian. I don't want to kill him. It's it's not his fault that he turned. Should I just try talking to the newborn? Maybe, maybe there's a small chance. 
I know our garden's going to be mad at us, but I don't care. Come no closer. Oh my you. god, it's a giant. <laughs> you. Oh. What are you? What am I sensing? You are like me. Like I was. A vessel yet to transform. Help me. I am so hungry. Okay, he doesn't seem that much in distress, which is creeping me out a little bit. <laughs> what do you need? We are new to our collective. Ah, uh, my birth was difficult. The vessel fought hard. It oh, that's weak. what the screams were. We need to feed. We need a brain fresh and frantic. Well, I'm not giving you a frantic. Bro, I am not. I am not giving you a bloody brain. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bring you food. Very well, King. God. I shall dine on you. Okay. Yeah. No, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Oh no. Uh, yeah. No, that that was my bad. Oh, can you not reach? The creature was born recently. Oh. Its mind is Ring of truthfulness. You can absorb its potential if you consume it. I don't want to consume it. Stop trying to make me consume things. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, I also closed my um my blind because it was just the light was reflecting and it was getting my nerves but i want to go in here never a dull moment maybe can anyone is anyone actually what comes next yeah can can house and jump here no are you freaking kidding me he's a bear how can't he jump it I'm shook. Fine, whatever. Go here then. Murdered refugee. Hmm, that's not so good. Wait, is that a child? No, okay. I thought that was a kid. I was about to be like, that's awful. Allow me. Allow me. Oh, there's a letter. Last warning. You're sticking your immigration nose in where it doesn't belong. You, you got a brain in your head. You'll stay in your filthy camp with the other absolute vagrant scum. Your girl didn't get the that memo. You really don't want to know what happened to her. Now scram. Whoa. Oh, damn. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh. Um. What is this? Is this like a door? Is that like a way? Oh, wait. There's like a, a line here. Ah, oh, maybe I can oh shoot my. it. Yeah, one of you guys said that I can shoot things with arrows, like to open them. So maybe I can shoot this. Oh, I can! Yeah! Halson, can you jump this? Of course not. I'm not even surprised at this point. <laughs> I'm not even surprised. Okay, what's over right here? I know he's separated from the group, but like, I want to explore. So they can, they can... Oh, what did I end up? Ooh. Wait a sec. How have I been this way? Wait, what is that? Cave entrance. Where am I? Oh, what have you what failed? That I'm missing? Well, there's a bloody cave there. Is that what you're missing? <laughs> Is that literally what you're missing? There must be another way to get here. Maybe I'll get the group another way in. 
Okay, Halson, just wait there. I mean, to be fair, he's not just going to wait there. I know where... Riffington? Is that the wrong one? Is this the wrong one? Yeah, it's the wrong one. Uh, I want... Uh, this one? Because where's Halson? Halson was, like, over here somewhere. I think he's with us now, but that's fine. I think it was over here? Oh, no, he's not with us. Ah, oh, is it down here? We need to find a way forward. Uh, are you okay then, my guy? Bloody gnomes. We need to find where they oh, board yeah. themselves up. You! You an adventurer? No. Looking to pad your purse? No. Find their foxhole. No. Bring me their chief's head. No. The fist will reward you well. No. No. Uh, yeah, bye. <laughs> just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave that situation. Ah, yes. Okay. There must be a way to come down here. I've got this. There's House and I can see him. Ah. Yeah. No. Oh, I did it. Yay. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. Really? No one's seeing this huge cave right there? Okay, whatever. You guys are all useless. Oh, I literally could have gone this way. Oh, well, well, I went this way instead. Let's go inside the cave. Whoa. Were you guys just waiting there for us? I okay. Not for me. Uh, sure, let's follow them, I guess. Let's move. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Warburn, of course, of course. I'm not even surprised. Where is he? Where would he be, actually? Should I talk to everyone? Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. Wow. Someone is a bit of a hater. Oh, what about you? Ask. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. I just want to see what you have. Everyone's so Only angry. Quick. Everyone is so angry. Oh, what's this? Flash blinder. Blind a target. If it's, uh, if it's a steel watcher, it is stunned and suffers a minus 1d6 penalty. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Thunder palm strikes. Ooh, that's also kind of cool. I actually can't kind of want that, but I don't really have anything on me to do some tradey tradies. Maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll come back. Now let me get back to it. Okay. It stopped, but it'll happen again. It keeps happening. The shivering, shaking, quaking. Yeah. Don't you feel it? It's the it's the mother brain, my guy. Yes, it keeps happening. What is it? Why why am I saying what is it? Hasn't Gail already told me what it is? Or am I being delusional? It's the brain, isn't it? Don't worry, it'll probably just <laughs> It's probably just the world's ending. I'll say this. There's something underneath the city. Inside the rock. Mm. When I ask the stone why it shakes. It only screams. Oh. I want to go home. I'm sorry, love, but going home isn't going to change it. It ain't going to change what's happening. <sighs> sorry, I keep yawning. I'm a bit tired. You're here. Hi. Good luck. This damn city's more treacherous than the Underdark. <laughs> Seems so. We've spoken to you. 
I shouldn't say anything to you until you've spoken to Auburn. He's very... particular. Annoying, more like. Where is he? Still trying to calm down a bit. Talk to Wilburn, would you? Why did I want to talk to me? Am I not good enough? Oh, he's here. Okay, cool. Hi, my guy. <laughs> Look at that walk. That power walk. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Why not? I'm great. I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. Mm. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you. I hope. Mm, do I want to help you? This is your fight, not mine. Uh, uh, gosh, it's a dead man. I have reasons of my own. Yeah, I'll say this one. To be fair, I do have reasons of my own. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. We do. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. Yeah. The Steel Watch. They're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. Yeah. They act all civilized servants of the people but they only serve one man yeah well that it's not their fault you, it will only get worse laws will change freedoms will vanish and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime and the fucking gondians are to blame for all of it whoa 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 let's take a step back my guy uh Personally, I put a lot of the blame on Gortash. Yeah, I mean, like, he's kind of the problem. Like, yeah, why why put the blame on the... Yeah. Mm. I'll say that, yeah, because I don't understand. It's Gortash that is really the problem, so I don't understand why he's putting the blame on the Gortons. I don't understand. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the watchers are on us like flies on shit. Wow. Okay, so what's the plan? Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Wolbrin, please. Oh! This is too far. It's Barkus. the family would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. Oh. The adults are talking. What up? Uh -huh. Thank you, Barkus, you little angel. <sighs> How rude is he to his poor friend? Barkus has a point. This sounds like mass murder. It is mass murder. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. You don't understand what people do to survive, all right? Like, it's... You can't... I just feel like he's... Ugh, he's not being very fair. Like, if they had no choice, like, if this was, like, they do this or they die, like, obviously they're going to want to survive. Gortash is the enemy, not the Gortons. I'll find another way. There is no other way. 
a story. But I don't even second chance. Of course he does. <laughs> and you come crawling back here, and you will. We can talk. Okay, well, I'm not going to come crawling back because you're a bit of an ass. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> where's... Where's Barkus? Where's my bud? Like, there's Walbrand, but I don't want to talk to him. Oh, wait, there he is. Hi! A rune powder bomb? Oh, what the devil has he become? He's a psycho, and you're friends with him. Yeah, a fanatic with no thought for innocent life. The Wolverine I know. He's gone. The one who skipped rocks with me in the Underdark. He's gone. He's still in there. No, he's not. I know it. He's not, hun. But his hate for the Gondians has blinded him. He believes they work for the Absolute willingly. But it's not true. Of course it's not true. I'm sure of it. Something is wrong. Very wrong. You did well refusing Wolbrand's proposition, but I fear he'll find some fool who'll plant his bomb. The Gondians deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. They do. Please, find out what's going on. I will, Barkus. I think we would like to know you're underestimating him. All right, I'll speak to them. That's all I ask. Yeah. Questions first, violence later. I'm with you, actually. Only if absolutely necessary. I'm 100% with you. Like, we need to know things before we can... Oh, can I... Do you have things to trade? Gondians respond well to reason. So when you meet them, be reasonable. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, like I'm with I'm with him on this. Like, the thing is, there's no if you just go in guns blazing, you're not going to get any answers that you want. You need to get the answers first and then decide. Be cursed. Oh wait, what's this lever for? I have no idea what that just did. What did that just do? Okay, so did that actually do anything? I swear I'm hearing something. Surely. Okay, well, I'm just delusional. Um, so yeah, sure, let's go up. Ah. Oh. Okay. What? What? Whoa! There's blood here. Not yet dried. And no sign of the smith. No. Do you think Oren killed the poor smith? Oh, for goodness sake. She is a problem. Do not get me wrong. I kind of like her. I like... She's a little bit unstable. I won't lie. I do like her. But... <laughs> she's like... A psycho. Let's read the note. A bloody message. I know written in blood. The patchment is cheap. The smell faintly of iron and smoke. How I sought and sorted the smith for you, and yet you dared not devour him. I will let him. I will let his bitter meat spoil. Not when Bar could save it. Orin. Oh, for goodness' sake, Orin. You're a bit unstable, my love. Well, a bit's an understatement. You're very un. Oh, hello, chest. Let's go. Oh, let's go here. I will just take some stuff. But yeah, I need to go and speak to the lady downstairs. Hi. Uh, I need to talk to you about your smith. I think he's dead. Gildra. Oh no, just you again. How can I help you? I love her. She is so gorgeous looking. Uh, um, I'm a customer. You should be delighted to see me. No, I want to say you're expecting the smith. Yes, that's him. Yeah, he's dead, hon. He's hun. usually the first one in. No, he's but dead. He's not showing up today. He's dead. It's not the same without the sound of his bellows in the back. He's dead. And his stories. <laughs> he tells the best stories. He's dead. Do you know him? 
He's dead. Uh, I do. He's not coming back. What? Don't joke about that. He'll come back. He always does. He's probably just gone to get more coal for the forge or visit one of the ore mines. Han. I'm just going to rip the band-aid off. He's dead. And no obituary in the Gazette? Impossible. I don't know why you're insisting on spreading these nasty thoughts, but I'll ask you to kindly keep them to yourself. Now, is there anything you'd like to buy? Denial. If not, move along. All right, I might as well look to see what you got. Of course. Gildro's finest. Well, they'll be his last. They will be his last. It's heavy armor. Hmm. Is anything capturing my attention? Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I'm good. I'm good. Come back soon. And if you see Gildro, tell him tell him everything's under control. Sure, hon. I will. Alright, let's go in here because we now need to speak forward. to... Ah, Some you. How goes the search? Here's the murder weapon. It was in some secret tunnels under the temple. Father Logos is on a list of... Oh wow, I have a lot to say. Should I just give it to her? To you now, if you can convince them of Brill God's innocence, oh, I still have to go. Okay, that's fine. Perhaps Ilmeta could shed one less tear this day. Oh, okay. I thought you would do a hunt, but okay. Ooh. Is there a? Can I come out here? Is there anything out here? Oh, let's steal some stuff. Let's steal some st Oh, there's nothing to steal. They said something up on the roof. Oh. Why did we all fail? Oh my god, wait, where's Halsin? <laughs> where's Halsin? What? There was something up on the roof. Tara? What? Oh my god, Tara! <laughs> Wait. The missing letters. Wait, do you think? <laughs> was Tara eating the pigeons? <laughs> That's so funny if she was. Mr. Dakarios, heavens! I'm <laughs> seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favourite. No! Is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. No, Gail. Gail, she's been eating those missing um, carry pigeons. Tell her to stop. Oh, right. Oh my god, you Tara, that, Tara, you need to stop. Um, Stop it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Decario. <laughs> Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. I love how she has wings. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's get the, the bundle of light. Look at the pigeon head. Look at the pigeon head just there. That's so funny. All right. Is there anything else up here? What's in here? No, no, no. Yeah, okay, we need to get... <laughs> we need to get house in. Because he's literally all the way over here. I also... Oh, oh, let's grab that. It shall be so. <laughs> also, I saw blood and there's a body. So, I'm going to come to him. 
<laughs> That's so funny, the fact that he's literally just been here this entire time. Oh my god, poor Houston. I thought he was with me. But no, he literally has not been with me this entire time. All right, I'll go here. And then we'll come to you. Which side is it? Is it this side? No. It's this side. Swift as my feet can carry me. All right, let's go back down. <laughs> Oh, there's a chest. Oh, hello, chest. I'll take those. To be fair, actually, I might as well have a look in a sec. Okay, where are you, Halson? You down here? Have I lost you again? Oh, you're there. Oh my god, I keep losing you. Let me toggle you all together. There we go. So funny. Oh my goodness. All right, let's speak to this guy. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Uh, who are you? Kara. Uh Oh, what do I Oh yeah, should I say what happened to you? Pushed felt bones break. Ah Darkness Tell me about the garments ring I found with you. Brothers died on the road. Man tried to buy. Um, do you have any next of kin? None. Oh. What's the last thing you remember? Man buying heirlooms. Vulture challenged him. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I'm so sad. I mean, that's a cool looking ring, to be fair. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, what else? Where am I going now? I might as well go down. Oh, wait, the boats. I might go to the boats because I'm quite curious by that. Can't give up now. Let's go back to the boats and see what's going on there. Okay. Because I was thinking, the boat. Look at it. The same ship was at Moonrise Towers, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I'm thinking. Because, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we went and we were speaking to those people, and then they were like, oh, we're taking a ship of parasites. Do you think this is the boat? So that's what I'm thinking. Looks like those two are about to fight. Oh, what did we just walk into? Nobody messes with the Stone Lord rattling. Nine fingers sent her love, asshole. Your stone lords a dead man walking. You oh. Oh. help me kill these asses. The guild will sprinkle you with gold. The guild? Yes. Uh Yeah, sure, why not? Might as well. Let's let's get let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. You picked the wrong side, cock. Slice them! Slice what the hell did he just them! call me? I'm glad I chose her. That is so rude. Oh. Ah. You better run away, my guy. In striking distance. Are these all enemies? So your enemy, you're an enemy, you yeah, they're all enemies. So I might as well just do that. Another fight. Let's go. And then I might as well just do that. One day I'll catch a break. Uh, 
Ah, 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 I want to save these people. Okay, Starion, go here. For the Stone Lord. Oh, this one's going to die soon. Okay, that was something. What did I just do? Well, nothing good it seems. Oh no, you're too close. Oh no. Ah, 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 ah. I really don't want this one to die. Okay, if I... Maybe I should do it to this guy. Sometimes the only way out is through. Sometimes the only way out is through. Oh, you're quite... Oh, you still got a lot left. What about you? You're nearly gone. You're still alive? Oh my god. Ugh. No. Oh my god. On my way. Oh, is he in the mm. Should I try this? Stranger, someone to try to slink away rather than get involved. I got you. Wouldn't earn the gratitude of the guild. Um, happy to help. <laughs> Who did we just kill? Oh, I prefer gold to gratitude. Yes. He 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 he. One usually follows the other. Give me money, 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 money. But who did we actually just kill? I mean, yeah, who did I just kill to earn that coin? A new flavour of scum that's been muscling in on our business. Agents mm. of the Stone Lord. Oh. Stone Lord? Never heard of him. No idea who that is. Lucky you. Do you want to tell me? He's a newcomer to our delightful underworld. And he doesn't play nice with others. What were his agents doing here? We think the Stone Lord and his cronies are in league with the absolute cultists. Mm, this little operation would make sense. here certainly suggests so. They were shifting something valuable by boat. But that something belongs to the guild now. Well, it's Parasite, so please be careful. Wrong, it belongs to me. No, I'll leave it with them, but I just want them to be careful with it because, you know, I'm think I'm guessing it's the Parasites. Oh, money! Money, money, money. Open up. Might as well steal everything from these people. Ooh. Oh, that's actually kind of cool looking. Oh, do not fail. The guild has caught wind of our activities down by the river. The Stone Lord has personally requested that you see off any visitors. I have heard murmuring that your dockside crew begin to doubt the tales around the Stone Lord's cap capabilities. Keep our shipment secure and he will not need to come down in person and make a demonstration. Mm. Maybe I'll make continue. maybe I'll make house and pick everything up. Now, what shall I find? What lies within? Is there any nothing? There's nothing here. Should I go into the boat? Maybe I can get something from the boat. Yes. 
Ah, oh, storage. Ah, oh, there's a chest up here. There's a chest up there. What is that green stuff over there? Oh, and a shipment manifest. Okay. A ship's manifest. Amidst the mundane goods, a specific unit of of create of crates has been circled with a no pinned on it on top reminder the stone lord's goods we don't need to see the man to know he's serious about his property if you are t if you're tempted to crack a crate and take a look remember norin and the wide-eyed loons who come to take him away last time oh my god i can't read that <laughs> looms who came to take him away last time out I didn't raise a finger to stop those gold mad bastards and I won't f I won't for you either. I mean I'll take it. He doesn't need it. Okay, well that was that was a good find, guys. That was a good find. Is there nothing else? Thought there'd be more. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm gonna give those letters back to the guy. Oh my god, that is that is a tower right there. Can I not go that way? I mean, should I just bloody well making my life difficult? Uh where are they? I swear. I swear it's this. Is it that one? I can never remember. Uh, is it this? No, this is the. No, it is. It is this. Ah, yeah. Hey, pal. What's up for discussion. Hey, buddy, old pal. All's well that ends. Not as bad. I suppose you've uh, stumbled across those letters yet? Yeah, I have. Ah, oh, wait, persuasion. I found the letters, but it was very difficult. I'm afraid my fees have gone up. <laughs> yeah. Give me more money. Yes, fine. Just give me the letters. There you go. Still sealed. Of course. Thank the gods. Was I supposed to read them? The kindness you've done me. I was first supposed to read them. What a relief. Oh yeah. I'll accept that. Thanks, pal. I feel so sorry for all these people. They're literally all struggling. They're all suffering and hungry. Oh, look at these. And I can't even give them money. I would want to give the beggars money, but I can't. I think I should just have a long rest. Maybe. Maybe I should talk with everyone. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and... I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. Okay, you make something really, really good. I'm gonna talk to my team. So I'm just looking, and Halson wants to talk to me. I'm quite curious, actually. Hey, Halson. I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse, the politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was. But you lifted the fog. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You're too modest. I do love him I so much. You don't even know how extraordinary you truly are. But I do. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. Oh. My heart does not stir lightly. It does now. Oh! Oh, so this is where it's going. Though so I have okay. Okay. <laughs> so I I I know I turned down Gail, but I've heard things about Halson and how there's like 
a funny like scene with him like a romantic scene and i'm kind of curious by it i just kind of want to see where that goes i i know i'm with a starring right now but i just want to <laughs> just i think it would just be quite funny um i want to say what exactly are you saying though i want more than to fight at your side or sit around the campfire with you i want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine i think you feel the same way once the power of the shadow curse was broken the connection was undeniable we both felt it. but tell me i'm wrong and the matter can rest i do not wish to sour our friendship but i have to know if it can be something more oh i like that See, I'm curious. I am curious because, like, well, there's, like, apparently, like, I've, I've heard, I've tried to, like, stay very clear away from, like, spoilers and stuff about the game, but I've heard, like, there's, like, a funny scene, like, a bear scene with Halston because he can shapeshift Carly into a bear. <laughs> and I'm just quite curious. I feel like I would be, like, a criminal if I didn't try it because, like, it's just supposed to be a little bit funny, isn't it? And I know it with a story, but I kind of just want to see where it goes a little bit. I just think it'll be quite funny. Um, I, no, well, screw it. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I just feel I'm doing it for the laughs, guys. I'm doing it for the laughs. Um, so I'll be, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested, but I'm already in a relationship. You were bonded with a starian. I have. Body and soul. Yeah. His scent lingers on your skin. Oh. <laughs> If there is to be anything between us, it must be with his consent. And perhaps someday, his participation. Oh! Uh... You want to share me? What do you mean? Some treat their relationships like a walled garden. Tidy, tamed, cut off from the world. That is their right, but it is not for me. I can see that actually. Does, and let my heart run wild. Desire flourishes wherever it finds purchase. To be fair, I have always loved Halson. And like I kind of he's he seems very free, you know. Um I'll say I'll speak with Astarian. Take your time. I'll be waiting. I feel a bit like I don't know. Let's see what Starry has to say because, like, I just <laughs> I just think it's quite funny, really. So, Lazel's finally seen the light and turned on her mistress. It took a little time, but she got there. Though it's not over yet. Masters rarely let their slaves go without a fight. Hmm. Um, you wouldn't believe the conversation I just had with Halson. <laughs> I was wondering when you're going to ask me about this. Oh, so he knows? Did he talk did he talk to you about it? Uh, I guessed. The man oh. can't stay quiet about enjoying the freedom of nature's <laughs> gifts. <laughs> I bet he'd outlaw clothing if he could. I wouldn't even consider if it bothered you. I'm happy for you to have as much housing as you wish. But I do have one question. It's not because, you know, we haven't in a while. God, no, don't, I don't... Oh no, now I feel like I shouldn't do it. Because I don't want him to think that's the reason I'm doing it. I'm just doing it for the laughs, if I'm being honest, because I think it'd be quite funny. But I don't want him to think it's because, you know, we haven't had some sexy times for a while. If I want to do it for the last, I think it'll be quite funny. Am I a criminal for doing this? I just want to do it because I think it'll be quite funny. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've been foolish, but thank you for saying it. Go right on with Halston. Far be it from me to hold your hunger against you.
so funny. I just want to do it because I just, I've heard, like, it's actually quite funny. Did you find time to speak with your partner? A potentially delicate topic, I understand. A stone is open to what you proposed. Is he, though? <laughs> Somehow I'm is he? Part surprised. I don't know. The but laugh seemed a bit fake. Now we will have each other, but not just each other. Our hearts are free to roam, together or apart, as nature designed. Okay, what comes now? Now? Now I need to restrain myself until we're afforded a quiet moment. Seek your bedroll when you are ready, but do not expect much sleep. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't! I do love him though. I do love how like, you know, wild and free Housen is. Oh, you came. I was concerned you might have had doubts. <laughs> or that this might have all been too soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I feel like a criminal, but I'm just doing it. I just want to see. I might, I'm probably not going to save it. I'll probably go back. But I just want to, I just want to see what happens. Um yeah yeah because i feel like i feel like i'm cheating on a starian i don't feel like that's kind of our relationship but i just want to see what's going to happen i i won't save this bit i'll go back but i just i just want to see what happens okay so yeah put your doubts aside i'm here yes you are and you're perfect why is he I'm breathing like that touch you. if i give in i may not be able to stop until i've devoured you Uh, yeah, no, I trust you. I trust you. As I do you. But nevertheless, I will be gentle. Oh my god! Look <laughs> at my face! Oh my god, I can't. Or at least, I will try. Oh my god. Oh wow. No hesitation. He is gorgeous, though. Look at me, like, just teasing him, like, hey, <laughs> and just running away. <laughs> just as nature intended. Come here to me. Oh my god, no. He's turning into a bear. <laughs> Why do I look excited? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> oh my god, that was actually quite Forgive funny. Me. I uh, lost the run of myself. Um, sometimes, if blood runs hot enough, it's difficult to tame the beast. Oh. <laughs> Don't apologize, I like it. Oh my god, what the hell? That is so funny. Uh, I'll say I'm flattered I have that effect in you. That was so funny, oh my goodness. Well, I need no further encouragement. Oh my goodness. That is so wild. <laughs> that actually cracked me up. The fact that he just checked. Could I have done it with, if, with him a bear? That is so weird. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to save it. I just wanted to see. I just wanted, I just wanted to see. I was curious by it. The fact that he changed into a bear. That is so funny. Oh my goodness. I actually can't. <laughs> Oh. 
I never quite realized how burdened I was until I met you. The threat of the Shadow Curse, the politics of the Grove. I was forgetting who I was. But you lifted the fog. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm, I just wanted to see what it would be like for, like, you know, the laughs. That was actually quite funny, though. He is like. See, the thing is, like, I'm not gonna lie, if he was a companion earlier, I probably would have gone for Halson. Because, like, I don't know, it's the way he talks and the way he is. There's something about him that's just very alluring. But, like, because he wasn't it until Act 2, I feel like. I don't know, it kind of, like, made me sway to more more towards a star in because in act one i was thinking more like i was torn between a star in and shadow heart like obviously and i really liked Halsin, but because he wasn't even i didn't even know he was going to be a companion but if he was i probably would have actually gone for Halsin because there's just something so like intriguing about him but i'll just say uh you're welcome you're i'll say what i said one. last time yeah I wager you don't even know how extraordinary you truly are. I just love him so much. <laughs> but I do. I have lived a very long time. I have taken many lovers. My heart does not stir lightly. But it does now. Uh, what are you saying exactly? I want more than to fight at your side. Or sit around the campfire with you. I want to lay with you under the stars and feel your skin against mine. I think you feel the same way. Once the power of the shadow curse was I mean, broken, deep down, yeah, probably. the connection was undeniable. We both felt it. But tell me I'm wrong, and the matter can rest. I do not wish to sour our friendship, but I have to know if it can be something more. I mean, a part of me wants it to be something more. Maybe in another playthrough I'll go for housing because I actually really, really like him. Um... <laughs> um, I'd say... I'd say I'm afraid I just don't see you that way. I understand. And I still cherish our relationship. Still. I could not have forgiven myself had I not taken the plunge. Better to have tried and failed. Do you know what? I gotta give it to him. Like, at least he actually, like, you know, tried and, like, asked. And there was no, like, malice afterwards or, like, any, like, anger towards me. So, I mean, I just love him. He's, he's so beautiful and great. See, if I go... Can I go in here? I haven't looked. Oh, mm -hmm. special orders, mm -hmm. bounty list. If I read it, are they going to tell me off? Special notice: Iron Hand gnomes. Let it be known that these known terrors, um, terror bringers, and violent pace disrup disruptions are to be killed on sight. The attempt to bring them in for questioning or trial would create too great a risk to local officers. Ah, Duke Alter Ravenguard. So they're just gonna kill them. Fugitive and bounties. Ah, oh. Will. I thought I saw someone there then. Oh wait, no, that's stealing. Well, I get told off. Oh my god, everyone, there's so much noise. Not going inside. Brothel? Cursed upon my head. The brothel? Den of decadent oh, is this what they keep talking about? From decadent drow to whip-cracking librarians, we cater to all tastes. See Mamzelle Amira for a full list of company. <laughs> Should we go in? <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's talk to you. Sure as caress. An elf. Such I love her outfit. I loved many in my day, but never one so fair. <laughs> Thank you. 
elegance just waiting to be shattered. Oh yes. Oh my god. I know your bliss. Oh my god. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged? You? Oh my god. Yeah, you have misjudged me. <laughs> Spot on sounds delightful. <laughs> uh, you're way off, I'm afraid. Am I? Your eyes tell a story, sweeting. <laughs> you crave more than pleasure. You crave penance. It's fee on you, seek our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. <laughs> My penance but must wait. Used to fill your void. A, <laughs> a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Um. Will the stern librarian of us back tomorrow? Sweeting. I'm no fortune teller. If I had a crystal ball, I promise I'd already have consulted it. Truth is, Fionn's gone well missing. Fionn. And my hands may be skillful, but they were not made to turn every last stone she might be hiding behind. Hmm. You need help? Let me find Fionn for you. In the flop house lies a fresh killed corpse, a lady dwarf. <gasps> Wait, I thought it was that person. Murdered. Ye gods, the poor thing. Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. It seemed like she Don't did. That face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Damn. Oh. Losing films slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Oh my god! Wow, she mourned for like two seconds. A woman is dead and you're concerned about money? Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. True, actually. Another time for tears. Cool yeah. As it is, I must turn my mind to business. Or, more precisely, the lack of it. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, surely you can spare a reward for this information. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Okay. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they will gift from the mamzelle and let them show you why. Okay. Anything else on your mind, sweetie? I just, I mean... Are there other options for companionship? Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favourite of hers, too. I doubt oh. we'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A devil? A guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed. Is this Raphael? It's Raphael, isn't it? Oh my god. He's everywhere. Indeed he did. There we go. Raphael. What a surprise. Exceedingly handsome and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest in. <laughs> to be fair, he is pretty great. To be fair, to be fair. Should we talk to everyone then? She's kind of cool looking. Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oh! It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. Good to see you again. Even if you have put me out of pocket. The boss bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Wait, I know we're asking who are you exactly, but haven't we seen this person before? You know when we were exploring Moonrise Towers and well just before we found, um, I think Arabella, I saw someone hiding 
And I was like, who are you? And then she just poofed into nothingness. Isn't this the same person? It looks like the same person. Uh, yeah, I'll ask who are you exactly, but I swear we've seen her before. Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. Well, I mean, we briefly my have. I've on you so long, we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Oh, Stalin. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. The other anchor in for spicier flavours. How about you give me a taste? Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm into me, like intervening, but like, I think it's time you get out of here, buddy. But like, shouldn't I just, should I just watch silently? Or oh, no, I'll ask if everything all right. Right as falling rain. What's it to you, chuffer? Don't oh. worry your pretty head about the fist, love. I can play them all like a loop. Okay, as long as you're okay. Yeah, I'll let her handle the situation. Say, if she's okay, Have she's okay. On my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. <laughs> oh you my God. are a beast among men. <gasps> no, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> oh my God, stop. I shall slake your first dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up! Another tankard for the fist! <laughs> oh my god, that was so funny! <laughs> uh, can I not talk to them? Who else can I talk Oh, can I go through here? Oh, I can! All right, I'll go through there and- Oh, there's a cat! Uh, let me drink a potion. Was that human boy? Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Um, your eyes are two baleful jewels that strike fear into the most compliment of rats. Should I say this one? Oh, you are quite correct. <laughs> I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. <laughs> and I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. Um, what's the shady pair over there whispering about? Can't you hear from here? They're talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself uh. in the oil, <gasps> while the other can't hold his drink. Um, don't want to know about who's through those fancy curtains. The drow. Two of ah. our most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. Of course, they are siblings. But oh. judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. The insults. What are, the, um, what are your thoughts on the clientele as a whole? That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. Oh? 
He dresses fabulously. Ah, Raphael. Something infernal, to be sure. Mm. Abhorrent. Yes, Raphael indeed. Two men bark softly to each other. A single name reaches your ears. Nine fingers. Oh, we heard that name earlier. Oh. Why do you ruin everything? Uh, let me try. Let me try and listen. Let me try and have a little listen. I'm going to do it again. You. That's what we want. That's what we want. You rats with the guild now. Uh, nine fingers met a match. The new kingpin. All meat and muscle, that one. And wild as a werebear. If he's looking to house nine fingers, my blade's got his back. Sounds messy as the ninth hell. Must be why she called us to help. Is that right? The way I heard it, you Zent cut a deal with the new. Hold on. Uh, I'm. You there? Uh, no. Getting up in our affairs. No. Ah, oh, persuasion. Sounds like an interesting business. I'd like to take part. Shall I try? Oh, why? You're making life so difficult. For goodness sake. Look, this subject's not safe. You selling your services, beat feet to the Guild Hall. Lower City, Basilisk Gate, Guild Hall. And that's all you're getting from me. All right, all now, right. The chat's officially closed. All right. What's up here? Oh, you! Can I talk to you? Another case closed, another bottle open. <laughs> Is he drunk? <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Do you think his ears get tired of flying? Afraid so, I found some new evidence, Investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh, I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Um, I want to ask that, but should I just go straight to the point? I found the murder weapon you missed in the tunnels under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tell me everything though. Why was Logan killed? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I assume for the same reason all the other people on the target list. Really? Mm. You as well? Well, yeah. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Who's Devella? Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. Oh, fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? It's not a theory I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to Baalist, um... Resurgence? No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in my work <laughs> as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Mm. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously... Are you going to make me do it? Why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. All right. Show her the list and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you I, access oh, to the lowest. No. I should have made the other guy go to prison then, because he gave me a pass. Wow. Well, what are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move! <laughs> Before I go upstairs, I want to go see what's through the curtain. Don't 
breathing, despite everything. Just out of curiosity. Oh, it's the drow. Hi, guys. A new face. Whoa, I love her Looking outfit. Another chapter of dirty law for your biography. <laughs> you have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. I like Don't her voice. Oh, um, Amza Amira said you could provide me with a gift for helping her. <laughs> Silly. We are the gift. Oh. One free ride with me or my brother. Or perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Oh, thank you. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. An agreement? Why are you interested in my partner? Or agreement? What kind of agreement? Should I ask this one? <laughs> we want both of you, silly. Oh! At the same time. But aren't you guys siblings? Oh, sorry, Pat. I'm, I'm not quite comfortable with doing this again yet. Oh. Oh, hun. Do you know what? I'm actually kind of glad then that like, obviously like, you know, we tried it out with House and just to see for the for the fun and for the laughs. But I'm kind of glad that like in the normal one, I just kind of shut him down because like, I feel like a story and probably got like told like and commanded like to do all these awful things and things that he didn't want to do when he was under the influence of Casador. So I'm kind of glad that like I, I went back and I was just like, no, House and like as much as I love you, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna stick with Astarian because like, I feel like he puts on a front. And like when I said like that last seemed very fake and it did seem very fake. And I feel like he just puts on a front because like deep down he's very vulnerable and very like, you know, he still has a lot to go through. And I feel like he's just a delicate soul and you know, that's okay. So I'm gonna say, don't worry, I won't ask such a thing of you. Ugh. Ugh. Don't be so nice to me. It makes me want to be nice back. Oh, hon. Bless him. I feel like there's just so many layers to him. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Mm, okay. You play on into the night. What happens if I just watch her? She's so... Oh, I literally love her. You can stare as much as you She's like. so gorgeous. And I love her outfit. She looks well nice. We love that. Now what's through here? Oh, nothing. Okay, I think I'm gonna go upstairs and see what's going on up there. Let's go upstairs. Oh, the nymph's grotto. Nymph's grotto. Ah. Can I see through the window? <laughs> Can I have a little peek? See what's going on? What about this one? Moan loudly in the library at all times. I, I kind of want to go in. Let's crack it open. I kind of just want to see what's in here. have stayed interesting how much farther can i go come on guys in you get in you get this does anyone call um pleasuring themselves in the library will be tethered to a bookcase of chain books any wizards call examining the special collection without permission um, express permission will be commanded to read out loud to the whole library the passage they were enjoying anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 
Is there anything in here that I can s no traps, steal? Almost painfully so. My body burns like the noonday sun. I kinda wanna take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? Hmm. Oh, what's through here? Oh, I can go up? I don't know what that one's for. <laughs> I can literally hear her. Oh my god, this is too much. I thought there'd be. I thought there'd be more. Oh, Fionn's journal. Ah, oh, this was her room. Yes. He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. Um, I know he's hiding something and the others in the flop house will know too. I've seen how they look at him, they, how they look at me. They're scared of him and I can't blame them. I am too. I'm so, I'm so sad about the fact that he killed his own mother because this is her room, isn't it? She's talking about her son. What's through there? Uh, let's go in here. Devil's Den. Mm, are you guys ready? <laughs> here we go. Oh, Voss. Oh. Hear me, devil. I will do oh my god, what happened to his face? Takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Vos. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. Do we? And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room. Once you're loosed from his claws. I wonder what happened to Voss. His face. Uh, I'm glad oh. you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. What did he do? What's wrong with me? For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. Oh. It's unsettling. Oh my god, yeah, because I constantly have noise in my brain because of little worms in my face. So he... he silenced them. Did you just kill me of the tadpole? Nah, he wouldn't do that. I feel empty. What did you do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid ah. in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Mm-hmm. We're waiting. I trust the illithid more than I trust you. Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. 
and I can make all of this tadpole business go away. But what do you Which want? Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. Wow. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The Astral Prison. Ah, oh, or the Emperor. No, no, no. It has only helped to push you toward your... No, I meant to do Orpheus, I meant. I meant Orpheus. wants you to be an illithid. The very thing you have sought to avoid. I meant, I meant to press it is the Orpheus. Prisoner that, that's, that's who I meant. That's who I meant. The gift. Yeah. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. Yeah. See, I do want to free him because I feel kind of bad that we're keeping him imprisoned for our own benefit. But I'll just say go on because like this is what Lazelle wants and I obviously want her to be happy as well. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my house of hope. Oh. Oh, wow. How convenient for all of us. <laughs> Perfect. Give it to me sounds too good to be true it's very convenient that you have exactly what i need yeah exactly isn't it just and it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what i want mm. in return there it is mm -hmm. of course yep what well, or have you well yeah what are you hoping to get out of this power oh yeah i should have guessed you free orpheus and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. Mm. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. <sighs> then it is settled, is it not? No. A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. I don't think it's the right move. Not yet. Oh, this music. The reason I don't think... Because he wants to... He wants power. I feel like he wants to rule everything. And I feel like us exchanging this will not be beneficial for us. It will just only be beneficial for him. So yeah, I'm tempted, but tell me why you're so eager to get hold of the crown. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. Damn. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> It was not a happy meeting, and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. There it Men is. cannot contain so much power. He's right, to be fair. The destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. 
Tarsus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one. Archdevil Supreme, me. Oh my god. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. See, I understand what he's saying about, like, this is too much power for man because, like, he's right. But I also feel like he shouldn't have the power either. Yeah, the idea of you ruling um, all the nine hells doesn't fill me with joy. Yeah, no, it doesn't. Why didn't you take the crown there and then? Actually, yeah, that's a good question. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. Ah. He's not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. <laughs> but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years. Wow. For a mistake. A That's mishap, a long time to wait. A misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It must be really annoying that some mortals managed to steal the crown when you couldn't. <laughs> yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. Yeah, I don't blame it. Effort. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. Mm. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flayer in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. Yeah. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be That's on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. That's he the problem. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. Please the oh. Prince of the Comet must rise again. You're letting your feelings cloud your judgment right now, because, yes, Raphael is being... He's telling us what he wants, but he... He likes to speak in riddles. He doesn't like telling us the full story. He likes telling us parts of it that we need to know. He doesn't show us everything. And I may not completely trust our guardian, but he's doing it out of survival instincts. Raphael's doing it because he wants power. So they're in two completely different stages. Do you know what I mean? So I don't really want to agree to the deal right now. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather destroy the crown than risk it falling into the wrong hands again. Because I would. Because, like, Raphael, you know that he wants more. You know that there's more to what he's telling us. And I would rather trust the emperor than a, than a devil. How short-sighted. Mm. Much better to put it into the right hands. No. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. 
And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Hmm. Yeah, no dear Raphael, I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. This is gonna be so, so mad. Don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Yeah, so we can laugh in our face. Did he just kick us out? <laughs> he just kicked us out. I wanna see what everyone else thinks before I speak to Lozell. Useful as the hammer would have been. I'm relieved we're not in the devil's debt. Okay. All his kind has you under their thumb. They won't ever let you go. Okay, I'm glad he he's on my side with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm glad. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. See, I'm glad he. I'm I'm glad I can rely on him right now. Carlag, Bud, come on. Raphael must be raging. We didn't take his deal. Luckily, his desperation made him careless. Did you hear what he said? The hammer's in his house of hope. Ah, oh, yeah. It, we could steal it right out from under his nose. Granted, it wouldn't be easy. Ah. Oh. Devils guard their treasure by especially lethal means. That's a good idea. What do you suggest? We would need to find a diabolist. One worth their salt should be able to get us into that devil's lair. One last trip to Avernus. At least it would be for a good reason, right? Oh, bless her. I didn't think about that. The fact that we could literally just take it from him. The means to loosing the prince oh, here of the we go. was within our grasp. And you refused it. Why? Lazel, I'm sorry. Ah, yeah, because we don't need the deal. We can take the hammer from the House of Hope. I wanted to follow the open valley. The easy way out. You chose the Bramble Path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. <laughs> we must speak with Voss. What? Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. You are we'll so confusing. And use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githgar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. <laughs> she is so confusing, honestly. <laughs> you are. Oh. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Oh, um, he offered me a deal. How very gumptious of him. What were the terms of this deal? Uh, oh, I can just tell him. He offered me the means to free Orpheus in exchange for the crown on top of the brain. Tell me, you turned him down. Yeah, man, I turned him down. Good. <laughs> I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Oh my god. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it. No matter what the devil whispers in your ear. I feel like uh, I understand what he's saying, but at the same time, he is doing it for his own benefit. They all are at the end of the day. Oh, we need a star in to lockpick. I want to go in here now. It's time. A star in, my love. Please, please, please pick like this for me. Lovely, lovely. The ready. Oh wow, no I physic I really am intruding. Uh I think I should leave. Tell me. Am I beautiful?
beautiful. More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the Kalim. Oh my god, I'm falling in love. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Oh my god. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin. And salvation. No wonder she's like the top, like, top one. Because she, 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 you know, anyone can fall in love with her with those words. Would you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes? Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. What's oh. Wrong? What's wrong, Jara? Oh. What are you? Wait. I know you. You aren't safe. Get out of here now. I don't understand. What's... No, you need to back away, my girl. Your face. The absolute has shown me. Oh my god, her nose Jara, is bleeding. What's going on? Who is this woman? Oh! Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? What the hell? Did she just turn into a mind flayer? Oh my god, she turned into a freaking mind flayer. <laughs> I can't. Oh no. Oh my god, no, we need to get her away. Oh my god, I didn't think about this. Uh. What, what do you. No. Oh, you need to jump. You need to jump, Astarian, please. We don't have time for this, my love. Quick. Really? That, that was a really weird way to maneuver, but okay. Miss! Ah! No! Okay, we need to... Lizelle, please. My fury. Mad. This is actually wild. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do it again. Oh, we did. Okay, cool. Lizelle can probably get him. In, you know. One more? Yes. Go on. Uh, are you okay? Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But she should be a poet. Did justice to its ethereal beauty. What the hell? It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Uh... Wait, okay. Is she is she saying that she she wanted the mind flayer? Am I getting that right? That thing could have killed you and you're musing on its beauty. How can I help it? I don't regret its death. But I marvel that such a work of art could ever live. Her gaze intensifies. What the hell? Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flare is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. <laughs> I actually can't with this. The creature aroused you, didn't it? Why should I deny it? Oh my god! The urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. <gasps> but perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Oh hell no, this girl's too much. This girl's too much. <laughs> uh, I'm not interested in sex with thanks. You could give me a few coins instead, I'll say this one. I offer something rarer than coin. Well, I want money. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. I do love her voice though. Alright, fine, I'll close my eyes. Everyone else did it. Darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, 
You want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? Oh. Content, powerful, rich. I want to be content. I feel like we've been through so much and I feel like we're never being able to just have a break or like just like relax and I just feel like my character is, is tired. I feel like she's very tired of always having to fight everyone's battles for them and always having to like, I don't know, be the bigger person and always help. I feel like she's just, she just wants, you know, something for herself. I feel like she just wants to be happy, to be at peace. So I'll be like contented, yeah. You are more than contented. You are at total peace. Your belly is full. Your mind rested. Your eyes bright. No more will you hear the clang of steel on steel. No more will you fear the cry of a wolf, the growl of an ogre. You are warm. You are safe. Your flesh shivers, your heart oh. bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I'll remember you, and you'll remember me. Oh, how yeah, I remember you. How could I forget? You're so cool. Yeah, I'll take that. She doesn't need it. Oh, I can take other stuff? Oh, I'll take that. Is there anything else? Nothing? Oh, wow! Look at the luxury in this room! Oh, uh... Oh! Simple enough. Should I look? This pass grants access to the bearer in, um, in charge of with Rock, Audience Hall, the ceremony of Lord Gortash. Elevation to Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Gortash ah. has been named Archduke. Should I take it? Time to pay Worms Rock a visit. I'll take that as well. She don't need any more. She gone. Hey, you paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Ah, okay. I'll talk to you. Come here. I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. It sounds like you want to start an argument. Um, does it matter why my word is final? Ah, uh, did he try and tell you to win me over with your charms? Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. Okay. You should reconsider, though. I don't really want to. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. I kind of feel like that's fair. I feel like he's he has been very honest with me like since I've known him, but he still likes to kind of not tell me the full story. Uh what exactly is in uh blah, blah 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 let's try that again. What exactly is it you do for him? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. Me? I'm talking to you openly. Oh. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Yeah. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. But at what cost? And he knows how. You're the key. Oh. You always have been. Of course I am. I'm the main character after all. Uh, then why make demands of me instead of just helping? He's a devil. It's his nature. Yeah. He needs to get his due. Yeah. I don't believe the devil cares about the fate of the world. I don't, to be fair. I won't pretend he's an altruist, but he's looked at the balance sheet. No world, no souls. And it's hard to get leverage on an illithid. They make terrible clients. Hmm. I'm not convinced. I'll stop the break. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'll think I'm about it. Yeah. Oh. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Yeah, but you're not me. You're not me, are you? Where's Voss? 
Is he through her? I have no idea where Voss is. Which isn't very helpful. Alright guys, so the video is going to be coming to an end now. I'm glad that we turned down um, Raphael's deal because I just know that it's it won't end well for us. So I feel like it'll be better us just stealing it from him. <laughs> like, obviously Lizelle wasn't very happy, but like I feel like we explained the situation and she was kind of like okay with it afterwards so that's good i'm also glad that i changed the save like obviously we had a little fruity moment with halcyon but i went back and i changed it because I, I just wanted to see what it'd be like but seeing um seeing astarian's reaction he seemed very like he seemed very fake when he was like laughing like ha 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 you know like you do whatever you want to do but when when he asked me if it's because you know we haven't you know had you know cheeky times together for a while it made me kind of feel a little bit guilty that's why i went back as well and i'm also glad i went back because of when the drow twins were like asking for a cheeky foursome he was there like oh hell no so it makes me kind of glad that i went back and changed the save but like he's just it just turns out that he's just very delicate and that's understandable like you know every relationship at the end of the day like you know you kind of like consent is everything and you know figuring out like what your partner likes and what your partner doesn't like is very very important so obviously housing's up for anything and that's also okay like basically all i'm trying to say is everyone is different and that's all that matters like if everyone consents and everyone's happy with it then all good but if you know, Astarian wasn't really happy with it. And you could tell that he wasn't very happy with it because he put on a front. So that's why I went back and changed the save. But if he was fine with it, you know, like, I wouldn't be fine with it. I'm just here for a for a good time, you know, that's all. I'm just here plodding along, just chilling. But I do, I do like Halson. I do like Halson. But I've committed to Astarian because I do like Astarian as well. I feel like there's so many layers to him. He's like an onion. You go uphill him back one layer at a time because he puts on a front he puts on to be very like you know very flamboyant very like sexual very romantic and all of that but i feel like deep down he's very he's very vulnerable because of like all the trauma that casador has like well done to him so and that's so understandable so i'm just you know just taking it a day at a time so if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a cheeky like let me know in the comments down below what you thought and i'll see you all soon guys Bye.